moi. Future myth makers of America. I am so excited for you. Wow. So, so Shirley Joe, what, what's it like to return to this stage where you performed and also in the little theater where you were last year? Uh, every time I've come, I want to be there. <laughs> because I, it's the evolution of the department. I was hearing all of these wonderful things that you guys are going to participate in and create around. And, and every time I walk through these halls, I digress. I become and, uh, uh, where I was when I was coming into the MFA program and acting and how excited it was when I got my letter and saying, you are accepted. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> this is where I was in the MFA program and I worked with Ed K. Martin, who was no longer here. And, and, and got my foundation. And then when I was going through all, and then was on the stage in a play called No Place to Be Somebody, which was at the time I was coming up back, back, back in the day, it was the first show of color to be on the stage. And it was the Broadway, you know, won the Pulitzer and all of that. And then I also went next door. Uh, to the film. Yeah, because I have this 80, ADD, what do you call it? Personality. <laughs> and I went next door and I took television directing courses. And, and then I was directing shows here, but I wasn't in the directing program. And what I realized, and I was so happy to hear about you are living in a time of transformation and what the department is doing in terms of the interconnectedness of the disciplines. And I didn't realize, I said, I was doing that. It was like here in this square footage, there was these infinite possibilities of what my body and mind and spirit wanted to explore. And it wasn't until, you know, that I was looking at my transcript when I was directing Moesha, you know, because I had done, the, you know, I'd done my little short films and all of that. And then when Sarah Finney, who was the creator and producer of that show, said, Shirley Joe, would you like to do television? And of course it does. I don't want to do film. I don't want to do. And then I went, yes. <laughs> yes. And it was multi-camera film. And, and, and that got me into the DGA. But what I wanted to say was, when I was coming here, that's all I thought about. I was going to be an actor. But here I am, having direct, gone into directing and then the, and this Winnie was a multimedia opera, so I got to do, not only use my facility of knowing the language of actors, uh, and, and I'm an actor's director, of course, because I know the process. And I invite all of you writers and directors to take acting classes so you understand the language of actors, so that will help you in your storytelling. And this is when I learned when I was in South Africa. This was the two-year process for me in terms of prep, two-year prep, and for this opera. Um, and I said this to the company. And one time we were in the rehearsal hall, and I was like, wow, I'm in South Africa. Wow, I'm doing this historical event. Wow, I'm here. And I'm watching them, and they're all from different clans and tribes. And South Africa has 22 languages, and I, could, I don't even speak the king's English well. So I stopped them, and I said, um, I'm sorry, I have to stop rehearsal. And, and, and they were looking, and I said, I just have to tell you how much I admire and, and respect. And I said, because you have your own language. And, and you know what tribe you come from. You know your village. I said, you have identity. I said, I don't really have that. I know that I come from somewhere in Africa. I can't tell you the village or but I, I said, and so that placement of home. I said, but what I do have from my tribe and the tribe I come from in America is freedom of expression. 
I'm going to say it one more time because I don't want you to take it for granted. Freedom of expression and infinite possibilities for your creative spirit. You can express yourself any way, know that there is no right or wrong, that you're in process. So if there's anything I took when I was here, the ability to have the freedom of expression, because I was coming in, coming through a time, and I heard mm -hmm. someone say that, that we were talking about freedom of expression for everyone, breaking open those doors of mistrust. And over there, they're still like 17 years new in terms of their democracy, so there's still a veil of hesitation about what they can do. You have this opportunity here, right now, at UCLA, U-C-L-A. <laughs> a forgotten world, because that spoke to my child within myself and, no, and, and just what the inhumanity to man was. So having to go in that, and how do I tell that story and still have you come away uplifted? Because that's the most, thing, most important thing for me as a creator is to tell stories that are somewhat, we go through the waters and we then uplift for the human consciousness. Because we are telling, a, all of us tell the story of the human condition, yes? Yes. yes. Okay. So. Three things, writers, three things, actors, three things, producers, three things. Music is the science of harmony, yes. So, <laughs> so the three things, we come on the planet as babies, yes? We come through, and the first thing after, you know, the doctor comes, uh, and this is very important. The doctor uh, takes the baby and, the, and he gives it to the uh, mother, and the mother's holding that baby. And, and the first thing you're being held, what is that? When you're being held in your arms, what's going on? Bonding, give me another word for bonding. Connection, give me another one. Comfort, comfort. what is comfort? Security, safety, right. Uh-oh, sorry. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go. So, Every man and woman, man meeting universe, needs to feel safe. Then the next thing, the, ba the mother's holding that baby and she goes, oh, look at that baby. Yes, it's a cool little baby. And the baby goes, <laughs> okay, so what is the mother doing? Attention, give me another word for attention. Uh, uh, another word for love. To be seen. Mama's looking at the baby, the baby's looking at the mother. So every human being needs to be seen. So we now every human being needs to feel safe. Every human being needs to be seen. The next one is, then the mother takes it and breastfeeds the baby. What is she doing? Nurturing. Nurturing. Those are the three things that all your stories will have it, your protagonist, your antagonist. If you're not getting those two, three things, and you're act when you're actors, when you're looking at your characters, when you get your characters, to feel safe, to be nurtured. What was the other one? Ha ha, that's why all of you are here. To be seen. If you're not getting those three, you're going to act out the behavior to try to get those things. So does that answer your question? So that is the process. I live for the process. I love putting it all together. I love the rehearsal hall. I love this. I love talking to all of you. I love people. So that is, for me, forget about watching them on stage after it's done. Um, but it's in that rehearsal process where we bond on a one-to-one. -one. You know, that's what I love. That's what I love about what I do. So. I want you to hold me in consciousness so that I can figure out what now. Now, I think you can see why we're proud to have Shirley Jo Finney as our alumna from the UCLA School of Theater, Film, and Television. And we really want to thank you for being here today. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, excuse me. <laughs>